the Supreme Court got rid of affirmative action. That's not nothing. It's a big deal. And whenever you try to right the wrongs of history, there are people who feel they are now being wronged. And that's exactly what's happened here. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's sad and the impact is going to reverberate uh, among the population for many years to come. The real deal is that checking a box will no longer uh, bump you at all in admissions, but writing about the experiences you've faced as a member of a group or writing about the disadvantages you faced as a member of the group or about how you identify um, can be considered as part of your law school application. So because of that, I don't think diversity statements are going anywhere anytime soon. Um, it's, it's something to keep in mind. It's also hard to swallow when you see that uh, with law schools, um, black students, African-American students are the lowest percentage of, in terms of acceptance rate. So uh, you have a much higher chance of being accepted to law school if you're in pretty much any other group. So here, um, the group that's struggling the most is actually now being handicapped further, which is um, distressing now. For those of you who fall into groups that are no longer being considered uh, as, a, as a factor in admissions, I would say put everything you can into the best standardized test scores you can get. So a number of prep programs offer, uh, pro uh, offer scholarships for those of you who qualify for uh, financial relief from LSAC for the LSAC fee waiver. Take advantage of these opportunities. Do the best you can to overcome uh, the new obstacle in place. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions.